Hey guys. Welcome to Outside the Comfort Zone. <laughs> Where we talk about things we probably shouldn't talk about. <laughs> we probably about. should not be talking about it. Um, oh God. I'm Justin. I'm Ashley. Hey, welcome to episode two. This is the second one. It's it's the one, two, one. Mm-hmm. Check, check, one, two. Um, so we started the podcast a couple times now. Yeah. This is now our like, third time starting it because <laughs> Ashley messed up the intro. I did. We've been doing it for like... 67 68 times i don't know now. just like lots of weeks let's so many weeks and i was like hey how are you and i was like no that's <laughs> i was like that's not no how one cares that's not how we do this here um oh god anyways how was your week you know what i have a lot to talk about do you mm-hmm. i don't i have so much okay so much go right ahead <laughs> i started watching i zombie which is probably the best show in the world. You can watch it because you have Show Me, and you should because it's great. It doesn't look good at all. It's... It reminds me of like Apple products and Zombies, no. which are like both way oh, over marketed. No, it's so good. It's so good. I really don't like The Walking Dead. It's totally different from The Walking Dead. And I don't like Apple products. The thing is, is that these zombies aren't immediately evil. They're just people who have to eat brains. So they're like, they feel bad. Yeah. Brains. They're like, oh no. But then they like make it spicy and taste good. And then they're like, oh yeah, brains. Why do they have to eat brains? Because they're zombies. What if they don't eat brains and they just then eat a they burger deteriorate. instead? I mean, they can eat, they only need like a little bit of brains to sustain themselves. <laughs> and then they look human. It's a great show. Go watch it. You get and, like a uh, lasagna with a side of brains. No, you put like the pe- brain inside. You mix it with the oh, meat. Oh, just pepper it in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could actually probably make brain taste good. You could. I, think I would I've... eat a brain if I was a zombie. I mean... I mean, you'd have to. So, if it yeah. was like the alternative is decaying, of course, yeah. Whose brain would you want to eat? Um, would I absorb that person's brain matter? Actually, in the show, you kind of absorb like their talents and stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I would want to eat um, Bob Ross's brain. Is he the painter? Yeah. The one who had the TV show? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> his... We, okay, so I was drunk last night. As you always should be. And I was hanging out with a couple people. And at the end of the night, me and my friend were both pretty drunk. And it was like two in the morning. And we just started watching Bob Ross. <laughs> and he's he just like... He just gets me. <laughs> oh my Bob god. Ross. Like those paintings... Guaranteed that's Bob Ross, and guaranteed he did that in like fourteen minutes. And he, he's just he's just like he's like here we just do a cloud, but you know you can do the cloud wherever you want. It's just wherever you want to put the cloud is. Where are the clouds in your world? Maybe they're over here. Look at that. Looks like like a little cloud. It's like a happy little cloud. That's what that is. And like just watch Bob Ross. There's like on Twitch right now. It's a twenty four hour live stream of Bob Ross episodes because it's his. What? It's his twentieth uh, like death anniversary. Oh, he died. Yeah, in like nineteen ninety five. Gone. He died when I was born. I'm Bob Ross. Oh shit. Reincarnated. So that's why you have such artistic ability. <laughs> yeah, I am so artistic. Oh my god, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So when I paint. It's like Bob Ross is painting through my body. That's super. Yeah. Just super. That's why I don't paint that often. No, of course. You've got to keep that talent yeah. hidden. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> why would you earn money that way? No, I don't, I don't want to exploit it. He painted during his show, he painted 30,000 paintings That's and, so and many. gave most of them away. That's so many. That's so many paintings. So many paintings. So many lost monies. <laughs> so many Bob Rosses. So many. Oh, God. I would want to eat, like, a karate chick. Like, some person who could really kill someone, like, super easily, you know? I'm pretty sure you can't kill somebody with, like, just karate. I would want to eat, like, a hitman's brain. Uh, so you just want to know how to shoot a gun? No, I'd want to know how you could, like, fight someone really, really well. I'm pretty sure hitmans don't actually fight anybody at well, any point. Well, they know how to be stealthy. I would want to be a spy, a spy's so you want, you want to be Jason Statham? Yes. Okay, you want to eat Jason Statham? I want to have sex with Jason Statham, kill him, and eat his brains. Just kidding, don't, just kidding, that's a joke. Don't, don't track me down and kill me for sex. I just want to change the order of that. <laughs> I want to kill him, <laughs> eat his brain, and have sex with him. <laughs> him necrophilia yeah it's what i'm into that's why i'm single yeah because like you kill dead. everybody <laughs> that you, you're like i really like you we should go on a second date yeah for sure in my freezer yeah enjoy it there. it's pretty cold oh i love cold bodies oh god um so that's the first thing i did this week was watch i zombie like okay. excessively i've just been watching sons of anarchy still okay and it's pretty amazing mm-hmm. um the show's too intense for me mm-hmm. so i can only watch a little bit at a time yeah 
So you can't like marathon thirteen episodes. No, I'd right? probably have like an anxiety attack. Okay, because it's pretty insane. Uh, like you don't want to have an anxiety attack over a TV show that would just be horrible. No, and I've never felt this way about a TV show before. Like, like I can watch n- every TV show, and I just like completely watch it, and then as soon as I'm done watching it, I can like go on with my day. Go and shit your pants. Yes. Yeah. But, like, this one, like, I watch it, and if I watch, like, three episodes, like, it's so, like, emotionally intense, I, like, go to sleep, and I'm like, why am I even sleeping? Like, why am I alive? It's, like, after you watch Interstellar. Okay. Same thing. Still haven't seen that movie. I still haven't seen The Martian. Oh, it's so good. We were gonna go see that today, and then mm-hmm. Jamie didn't want to. Damn it, Jamie. I know. I was gonna go alone, but then I was like, maybe I shouldn't go to a movie alone. You, you really should go to a movie alone. If it's this movie, you need to go alone. <sighs> it's so good. I really want to go. It's so, so good. Um, I want to see it again. I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to buy it on Blu-ray when it comes out. Oh, yeah. I remember when I bought movies. Never. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yesterday was Halloween. We're filming this on Sunday. And uh, I had plans to have a party at my place. Mm-hmm. Because we're... You got the flu, didn't you? I got the flu. I saw that on Twitter. It was originally going to be at Jess's place. And then there was like a big fight that broke out. And then she wasn't allowed to have parties there anymore. Oh, like they live on their own. But their neighbors were like, you're not allowed to have parties here anymore. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. And she was like, Wait, okay. She, she, just her and Taylor live there? She, no, Taylor lives next door, so it's like her aunt. And um, it's her, her brother, and her boyfriend live there. Mm. And um, yeah, so then it was going to be over at my place. And I wake up feeling like death. Like yeah. I literally just died. I am now live from my zombie. Yeah. And um, I also wake up to a text from one of the people who was coming to the party and was also out with them on Friday. And she's like, another horrible Friday. They got into the biggest fight. They got kicked out of bars. This one person tried to walk home from town. He lives like th- 30 minutes driving outside of town, tries to fucking walk home. And I was like... Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel. <laughs> That's so upsetting to me that I can't, but I can't. Like, I really couldn't. But also, after hearing that, I was like, there's no fucking way I'm having these people over at my house. No. Absolutely not. When I know, like, five of the people and, like, ten of them are just, like, people who I interact with at parties, absolutely uh, not. Oh, yeah, that'd be a bad idea. Yeah, horrible. So, I don't want, yeah, I don't want anybody near me that I don't like. No, right. Ever. Like, I, I feel is, like I'm too old to be at parties with people I don't like. Right. Or, like, at the bar, like, fuck, I don't want to be around these people. And I don't go to parties except for at her place. And because it's at her place, I can't be like, oh, I hate all these people. Like, I like most of them, but they're not people who I would have over at my house. But inviting her, I'm inviting the entire group. So it's like, ah, fuck. I just, I can't throw a party. I can't go to parties. Everything's horrible. Like, the last time I went, this guy tried to fucking have sex with me. And I was like, I literally, I'm leaving. I have a midterm tomorrow. He's like, no, no, no. You're not. I'm like, I absolutely am. (laughs) leaving right now he's like but you're not i was like actually i'm fucking like somebody get him yeah i don't know when i like when i want to have people over i'm like i text like six people i'm like hey do you guys want to come over and it's those are the six people that would like help clean up my shit after (laughs) i mean by the time i go to bed yeah my entire apartment's just like cleaner than when everyone got there that's so fucking gross when people just like leave their mess everywhere like that's my pet peeve is when people spill shit and then they're like not my problem because it's not my house Fucking uh, clean it. Just clean it, you yeah. You piece of shit, garbage, horrible human being. You horrible human being. Horrible garbage piece of shit. Oh, getting real angry here. All right, well, I feel like, um... Oh, yeah, so what else? Did... Yeah, you... that, was... <laughs> that was Halloween. Got the flu. So then what oh, you do? Oh, I watched Halloween Town with mm. Bronwyn. She came over and rewatched it. Oh, it's so fucking awful, but it's so good. And it was so easy to find. You just search, watch Halloween Town, and it's on Vimeo. Yeah. Uh, like, what? Like, you literally watch any movie in the world like that. It's, like, okay, there's other movies that, like, take a second to find, like, super illegally, but, like, this one was so fucking Yeah, because it's old. The rights are probably all, like, fucked up. That They're just like, yeah, just throw it up on Vimeo. It is so good. I might watch it today, even though it's no longer Halloween. Just watch it all over. I made Jamie on on Friday. Mm. She's never seen Scream. So I made her watch Scream for the first time, and she loved it. Yeah? And I was like, there's four more of these, Jamie. We're going to have a marathon. Oh, my God. And then we didn't. But Scream will. Scream is a great movie. Like, have you ever seen Scream? No. Have you seen, like, Scary Movie? Yeah. Where they make fun of Scream? Yeah. Um, You know how, like, how he acts? He's like, he's like, are you alone? Like, I'm in the closet. And he's just, like, being a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. That's literally how it is in the movie. Like, they're not changing it for That's a Scary crazy. Movie. And, like, you know the part where she, like, tries to escape out of the little cat door? Yeah. And then the garage door comes up? The, and, like, she fucking does that. That actually happens in the movie. 
Ew. Like, they didn't change anything for the, like, yeah, so Scream is actually hilarious. Oh, my God. It's, like, the funniest horror movies ever. They're not really, like, horror movies. They're just really funny. Aren't they, like, parodies of the normal horror movie trope? Like... Yeah, kind of, yeah. They're just, like, <sighs> satires. I like that Scary Movie then took a satire of a horror movie and made a satire of a horror movie. <laughs> it's like, well, actually, no, it was like that in the first place. You guys didn't change anything. People were like, ha, 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 they're making fun of Scream. Because nobody's ever seen Scream, so... <laughs> Scream, yeah, I saw, uh, what is it, like, Everything Wrong with Scream, that yeah. YouTube channel. That was good. And I watched those, and I'm like, now I don't have to see the movie, because I understand it. Yeah, I, understand I get the, the point. I haven't, I haven't seen Everything Wrong with Scream. That'd be funny, though. It's, it's really good. Literally There's a everything. lot of things wrong yeah. with Scream. The entire movie. Gail's weird. Who's Gail? Gail Thorne, Gail the, oh, the reporter. Oh, uh, uh, Courtney Cox? Yeah. Yeah. This is Gail huh, reporting. Huh, I literally just killed a bunch of bad guys, and now it's time for my seven minutes in... Heaven, 15 minutes in the spotlight. Gail Weathers. Gail Weathers. Yeah. She shot him. Yeah, she, yeah, she like, shoots a lot of boom, people. Boom. Actually, she doesn't. Well, no, yeah, she shot, she shot Billy. Billy. And then uh, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. The Scooby-Doo guy. Shaggy. Shaggy. <laughs> Shaggy was in it. I'll yeah, never cool. see him as anything except for Shaggy. Well, Monica was Gail Weathers. Monica. Oh, yeah, yeah. Courtney Cox, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, Shaggy was in it. And I'm pretty sure Vince Vaughn was in it. Really? Well, like a guy that looked like Vince Vaughn, but oh, not actually him. Okay. <laughs> Your dad kind of reminds me of Vince Vaughn. My dad looks literally nothing like Vince Vaughn. Just like his personality really reminds me of Vince Vaughn. How he's just like sarcastic and like says shit that's like so deadpan all the time. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't though. <laughs> I just, yeah. Your dad reminds me of Vince Vaughn. I like how we're still on my week. So, what did you do? Um, I don't see. By the time the podcast comes around, I don't remember what happened in my week. Scream. Yeah, uh, Halloween. Yeah, had had a couple people over. Um, we we played Rock Band and drank a bunch, and then we watched we watched Cabin Fever, which is a hilarious horror movie. Is that the one where she shaves her legs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gross. Yeah, great movie. It's on Netflix if you want to watch it. I don't. I um, don't want to watch it. Pretty that. sure it's on Show Me actually. Gross. Um, yeah, we watched that. Uh, Jamie was like a creepy little girl zombie. I saw that. Yeah, she was terrifying. It was really crazy. I was like, I am not okay with this. <laughs> not and she had like a little like teddy bear thing with like an eye popped out that she was like carrying around. Uh, oh, it was it was terrifying. Um. What else happened? I don't think anything else happened to no. me this week. I I worked, did some stuff. You know, the usual. Work is fun. I have my last midterm tomorrow. I'm going to buy so much pizza afterwards. You have no idea. Samosa? Oh, yeah. Their gluten-free pizza is better than their regular pizza. It's actually sick how good it is. I doubt it. It's so But no, I, I do believe that you're excited about their gluten-free pizza oh, I'm so but i excited. don't believe that it's better than it's the better. normal pizza it's like it's I think not as runny i think your brain makes it <laughs> better because you're just like you want to believe it and I, I respect that i believe it though yeah you do my believe soul. it. I, that's fine and that's fine that you believe it but it's not true <laughs> okay <laughs> I mean, I think... M- There's nothing gluten-free better than non-gluten-free. I will say that I don't like the runniness of the pizza dough and the gluten-free pizza runny dough pizza isn't dough? as runny. What? Like, not runny, but, like, it's greasy and it, like, it's super floppy. Oh, yeah. yeah I yeah, like gluten-free that gluten-free pizza, is, like, a like little cardboard. bit more... It's cardboard. It's not, though. This stuff is so good. You know, like, when you make a pizza from, like, the store and there's that cardboard thing on it <laughs> and you forget to take it off and then you cut it into it? And it, That's gluten-free. Oh, my God. Amazing. Yeah. I've been eating gluten-free for so many years. My mom showed me this picture and it's just a guy, like, standing in a cardboard <gasps> I box. I fucking saw that. He's like, I'm a loaf of gluten-free bread. <laughs> Which is so true because gluten free bread is horrendous. I've been having this like internal struggle where it's like, this is how I'm gonna have to eat for the rest of my life. And that's fucking sad. That's so bad. It's so sad. I love spaghetti. It's so good. I love gluten. Like, I wasn't taking this seriously at all. I was like, oh, whatever. I won't have gluten most times, but on the weekend, like, I'll have some pasta. Who gives a fuck? And then I had some beef jerky, which had some soy sauce in it, which has gluten. And I got so fucking sick. Like, I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. I was like vomiting and oh my god do you, Kate, do you think it's because now you're not eating gluten when you do it's gonna fuck you up I hope like what not. if you just eat it all the time like you did like two weeks ago like i was so fatigued then too i don't know like maybe maybe over winter break i'll eat a fuck ton of gluten and just see what just happens. eat just start eating normally again and then just start like taking vitamins instead like like uh 
I'm so with, sad. With magnesium. Like, that gives you energy. Okay. And iron gives you energy. Take uh, prenatal vitamins. That's what Jamie <laughs> takes now because... Does it? She's pregnant. No, because... <laughs> because um, uh, Justin's having a baby. <laughs> no, because it has, like, a crazy amount of, like, iron in it. Okay, I'm gonna... And, like, iron makes you, like, uh, not as sleepy. It makes you, like, uh, give you more energy. I'm literally gonna go to Rexall tomorrow and get do this. Do it. Get, like, and you... over, like, break because we have uh, yeah. spring break. Like, are you, are you bad it. at swallowing pills because they're pretty big? No, no, I can swallow things. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I kind of assumed I didn't want to say anything. I but... mean, like, it's, it's not so. bad. I saw that one comment on the last one where it's like, I hope Dick doesn't have blue <laughs> Yeah. Fuck you. That's so funny. I haven't sucked a dick in like four months. Four hours. <laughs> like four minutes. <laughs> like Justin's sitting here and there's also a dude's dick in my mouth. Yeah. It's not mine it's either. Not <laughs> it's, it's, it's not it's mine. It's just not just, There's like a lineup of dude's dicks. Yeah. Oh, fucking Christ. Um, so. So, okay, wait. We so, had topics. We yeah, had things. This is what to I want to talk about. I, I saw a news story earlier this week. I bet you lots of people have seen it. It's the one where they, um, the cop is called into the classroom, and then he, like, attacks the girl. So this is pretty much what happened. The girl is sitting, it's in Spring Valley High in California somewhere, mm. or, like, New Jersey or something. And I think it's Waco, Texas. It was in Waco, Flaco, Texas. Waco, Flaco, Texas. Um, the, I don't know, you know what actually happened in, in Waco? <laughs> Down is, in you know that Waco. You know that crazy, um, like, uh, biker gang gun battle thing? Where, like, there was, like, a, a gang at, like, a diner, and then a, a rival gang rolls up, and then they have, like, a huge shootout, and there's a video of the entire thing. No. From inside the diner. The video was so fucking intense. Like, it looks like Sons of Anarchy, but it's real life. And it was in Wacko, Texas. Wacko, Flacco, Texas. You have like, a lot to be proud of this man, year. Man, it's Wacko. Yeah, it was it's the gun in the vagina and the, and the gun battle. God you should watch that video, though. It's, like, crazy. Like, the, the bikers... I like, they're all sitting there, and then they hear, like, guns, and then they all hit the ground. They all pull guns out, and there's, like, knives, and, like, it's, oh, oh it's crazy. My. Next time I'm stressed out, I'll pull up that video, and I'll be like, oh, at least that's not my life. <laughs> at least that's not my life. I'm not in Wacko. <laughs> I'm not in Wacko. I'm in Alberta, and it's almost snowing. Fuck yeah. me. Yeah. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Spring Valley High. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that where Archie went to school? Archie Jughead? The Sunday Veronica? Spring... Valley High? No, it wasn't Spring Valley High. It was... Riverside. Rivers, Riverdale. 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 <laughs> um, Riverdale for 200. <laughs> anyways, what is Riverdale? <laughs> um, so Silver Springs Ridge. <laughs> Silver Valley High. Yeah. Spring Valley I High? Mean, Spring a Valley High. A place in California where the thing happened. Yeah, there was a high school. And <laughs> so this girl sitting in the classroom, apparently she starts like beaking her teacher. Yeah. She's like, fuck you, you whore. I don't know what she actually said. I'm yeah, just these pretending. are not quotes. <laughs> these aren't actually. She was probably just like, I don't want to do my homework. Yeah. But like, I'm assuming she was like, fuck you, whore. You're like, you're going to be alone forever. You're a teacher. You it's don't make any money. Yeah. Nobody loves you. And the teacher was just like, I don't agree with you. And she's like, can you please leave? And then, and then the, the girl was like, no, fuck you, whore. And then she was like, okay, I'm going to call the vice principal. I tried. Calls the vice principal. Vice principal comes down into the classroom and she's like, excuse me, can you leave? Girl was like, no, you a whore too. No, you guys be whores together. <laughs> together whore time. Together whore time. Together whore time. <laughs> and, and then the vice principal was like, I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> And she was like, you fucking do that. Because you're not leaving the classroom. And she's like, she's like, do whatever you want. So then they had a school cop, right? Yeah. Um, As they, you ca- they called the school cop. A school cop comes in <laughs> and was like, okay, you need to you need to to leave. And she's like, no. He's like, you need to leave. And she's like, no. And then he grabs her, throws her out of her desk. Her mm. desk falls down. He like whips her across the room. Yeah. And like attacks her. And then he got fired. Uh, fucking rightfully so. Yeah, so he got fired. So like the whole conversation is what could they have done is it like what could if he have done better and what do you do in that like what do you do in that situation okay like without having to physically remove her out of the classroom because here's the thing i think she could have been saying absolutely anything and he had absolutely no right to put his hands on her in that way like you can grab someone's arm and be like listen you need to leave but you can't throw a child around a room because they are of course going to be really really rude they're fucking children they she clearly has a problem with authority but you can't just treat that like she's a criminal like she's someone your size who can be thrown around a room yeah i mean like there's a video of it have you seen the video yeah it like he probably could have just grabbed her arms yeah. and like just put cuffs on her yeah. and just taken her out. Exactly. Like, he like he like threw her out of her desk. He and, woke like, up and he's like, "I work in a high school. I need to ruin someone's life today." Yeah. 
Apparently, he had, like, problems with, like, being super aggressive in the past, though. Yeah, his, like, his, what is it, the chief was like, I do not like this behavior. And the chief himself was, like, kind of fucking up in some places, too. And he, when when someone is a fuck up and they don't appreciate your behavior, that's when you know that you're a horrible pure person. Like, if someone... It's like Hitler watching that video and being like, what an asshole. Yeah, like, why are you doing that? That's like Donald <laughs> Trump being, like, that guy who bought that pharmaceutical company and then sold it from, like, $12 to $800. Donald Trump was like, that's not cool. Like wait, wait what, the pharmaceutical that. company? What did I? What I happened? can't remember what the pill was for, but it's something that's like, like it's needed, right? Like people need it to live, and he there was the only company. one source. He bought the company. He raised the price of every pill from twelve dollars to like eight hundred dollars, and everyone was like, "That's super fucked up." Like it's not like there's another source for these people to get this pill from. Ah. And then another person like recently came in and bought it, and they were like. We're just gonna sell it for like twelve bucks, and you guys yeah. can like. We'll just sell it for like thirteen fifty. Yeah, like fucking this other guy. Yeah, that's what happens when you're trying to create a monopoly. Mm-hmm. It's fucking like McDonald's people. monopoly. How many of those things do you have so far? I don't know if we have any. I can't eat anything from McDonald's, so. Oh Except yeah. their iced tea is so fucking good. Their iced tea. Oh, it's so bad. It's so I fucking love it. It's so tea. sugary. I, I hate love their iced tea. tea. So much. Oh my god. Okay, what could your mom eat from McDonald's? Nothing. Oh okay. Well then I. She can eat baked potatoes from Wendy's. I hate potatoes. My mom is celiac, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, I have an interest in Justin's mom. <laughs> what is what, what, is what does your eat? mom eat? Your pants are like Tetris. I know. They're like pixeled. Yeah. I like it. It's like Wreck-It Ralph. It's like you don't really know where to look. Like if I had like a weird disfigurement on my leg, I would, would wear these and you would never know. You would never know, ever. yeah. So I'm like picking my nail polish now. I need to stop. So, okay. I saw this news story okay. where this guy did nothing... But eat Nutella for seven days. Oh, yeah. And how'd that go for him? He lost seven pounds. He was feeling nauseous and pretty much like a person who is eating Nutella for seven days. That makes sense. Um, I just don't understand, like, how far some people go for a news story. Blows my mind. And not only a news story, but a pointless fucking news story. So did he just go online and was like, I'm only going to eat Nutella for seven days? Well, he's a, a young writer, so he went to his editor and he's like, what do you think about me not eating anything but Nutella for seven days? And the editor was like, I like it. I like it. <laughs> going to reinvent yourself as a fucking idiot. Oh, God. And then like halfway through the editor, because he like goes into work and he's like tiny. I'm trying to find the story. And he's like nauseous and stuff and they call him one night and they're like i think you should stop because this doesn't seem very healthy like three days in not having the fourth sight to be like you know what's not healthy eating nutella for seven fucking days yeah like he was vomiting and had diarrhea all the time and it's like what do you think is going to happen when you're putting literal trash in your body every day i mean why would he have diarrhea because i I would assume because it's just like a paste and it, you can't, like, break down into a solid. You can't form a paste into a solid. I guess so. So it's just pasting out of his butt. It's just, like... It's just straight Nutella. It's one of those Play-Doh things. It's just things, reusable. Just like, <laughs> yeah. Ew. It's like a chia. Ew. With only one hole. It's a chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. So he just reused the Nutella from his butt? Yeah, he that's didn't buy more than one jar. He just, like, refilled it with his Nutella poop. That's probably a porn thing. It's like two girls, one cup. It's like... Two guys only Nutella from your asshole eating it. Just, for just, like... <laughs> just one guy, human centipede. Yeah. He just human centipedes himself. That's so fucking gross. Human ball, because you'd have the flexibility, right? You'd have to flexibility. Yeah. You or like he could just like put a cup up there, and then it could be like served Dairy Queen Sunday style. You know, you could do like the frosty test or whatever, the blizzard where you like tip, oh, it, yeah, upside you tip down. it upside down. To... You're like, it doesn't fall out of the cup. I can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't fall out, you can eat it. That's that's Justin's new tip. Have you seen my Justin's tip of the day? What's your tip Twitter? of the day? Um, if it doesn't fall out of the cup, you can eat it. Oh wow! What what's a previous tip of the day? Um, oh, if it's too bright in your room at night, close the blinds. Wow, that's a great tip of the day. <laughs> and then my my first one was, eat dirt. It helps your immune system. <laughs> you know what? That's actually true. You know, I did it as a kid, and I'm pretty healthy. I did not eat anything bad as a kid because my mom is like ocd and keeps everything so clean yeah so that's why you're sick, sick all, the time. all the time that's the same that's the same problem that jamie has like my her fucking, immune system oh. is like fucking a guy with a twig trying to fight off zombies <laughs> like my immune system is like arnold schwarzenegger you don't watch walking dead do you i watched the first two seasons three seasons and then uh i stopped because i didn't care anymore so do you give a shit about the fact oh the the spoiler that the, the spoiler yeah, yeah spoiler spoiler for the next 30 seconds spoiler about walking dead that Glenn... Like, died? Died. Yeah. 
Well, I don't care because because when I started watching it, Glenn was my favorite character. Yeah. Because he was like the pizza delivery guy. First episode, fucking rights. He's an awesome character. Yeah. As soon as he started having a thing with Maggie, yeah, he turned into like such a pussy. True. And I was like, I'm not watching this anymore. <laughs> because of Glenn, you're like, I'm not watching. No, because there was literally nobody on the show that I liked. I, think... I was like, there's no character on this show that I like watching. I just. I don't see how they could... Because you know how there are all those people who are like, he didn't die, the other guy was just on top of him, and his guts were coming out. Even if that's true, I don't see how the fuck Glenn gets out of a situation where zombies are piling on top of him. Like, if he gets out alive, that's the whole network being weak as fuck. Like, you have to follow through with that. You have to kill him. Well, I mean, the decision has already been made. Because they've dead. already filmed the next season. Okay. So I guess we'll see, huh? He better be dead. I mean, I don't care either way. I wanted Maggie to die from the first time I saw her. I don't think she plays any role at all. No, she, she was just nothing. the person that ruined Glenn. That's all I see her as. <laughs> you really hate her so I much. I hate her so much. And like, who is the Hershey? What's his name? Hershey? Hershey. Herschel? <laughs> yeah. Milk chocolate over there. Milk chocolate with one leg? Yeah. Did he die? Yeah, he's been dead for a couple seasons now. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure I saw him die yeah it was a pretty and then beth died that was sad beth brought a lot to the table who's beth the maggie's sister was she the hot one i mean i guess no i she was the one who everyone thought should get with daryl and i'm like beth is like 16 17 oh and she died yeah she got shot in the head by someone carl like a per yeah carl (laughs) (laughs) carl carl Carl, get in the house carl please carl (laughs) now carl is like trying to we should do this every week where i try to explain walking dead to you <laughs> yeah exactly because i have no idea what the hell's going on like i have enough so i know who the characters are generally but i don't know what's going on michonne's anymore. still awesome she's still cool as fuck who's that you don't know who the fuck michonne is she's the one with the sword you totally saw up to michonne she's the black lady oh with the dreads right and the sword. yeah 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 the dreads she's cool as she's fuck. cool i'm like i have nail polish all over me i need to stop picking up my nail polish. um yeah, you can try and explain Walking Dead to me every week. Okay, great. so Glenn's dead. Yeah. They tried to set a building on fire. But how he died is that weak-ass little character, that little bitch who tried to kill Glenn. Who? It was a guy from the new season. Daryl? Yeah, it was Daryl. <laughs> Daryl's a new guy again. Daryl's a new guy from this season. And Steve only. Carell comes in. <laughs> yeah, so Steve Carell, let's call him Steve Carell. Steve Carell is like, he tried to kill Glenn in the forest. And then Glenn was like, it's okay, I forgive you. I'm going to give you a second chance and not tell literally anyone in the new community that they're in. So then they go out and they're trying to like do some shit and they get caught by some zombies. And he's like, Steve Carell, where do we go? (laughs) And they get up on a dumpster and Steve Carell is like, thank you. And he shoots himself in the head, knocks Glenn off, lands on top or beside him. And then zombies are just like eating everyone and it's silent. And you just see him like silently screaming and it's beautiful. Were you happy when Glenn died? I was so fucking indifferent. Like, my mom came down and she's like, you're going to cry. I cried and I, like, could not give a fuck. I don't give a shit about Glenn. I don't give a shit about anyone except for, like, maybe Daryl. Daryl was the only character I liked. He's cool. Like, Daryl's always been cool. Like, he left his brother. His brother was a piece of shit. Merle. Merle and Daryl. Merle and Daryl and Carl. (laughs) Like, they're terrible at naming people in that show. I know. It's like the whitest, like, southern names. Yeah. Merle, Daryl, Carl. So anyone who's watching this called Merle, Daryl, Carl, you all suck. You all suck. Unless you're a patron, in which case you're great. Unless you're a patron. <laughs> Actually, good segue. Thanks. Uh, I wish I had a segue. You know you can get a segue for, like, 600 bucks? Yeah, that's exactly what I want to spend 600 bucks on. Um, let's take a, a short break from our programming to introduce our sponsors. Yes. Um, Sarah Moore on Facebook, Naturally Ed, Natural Edge Art Therapy. She does art therapy on there. You should go check her out. Uh, Cheryl Shannon, she's pretty cool. We got Alex Maynard, Alex Maynard 09 on Instagram. She's got some pictures up there. You should go look at them. Maybe give them a double tap. Uh, Jennifer Jones, uh, her Instagram is uh, Jennifer R. Diane, and uh, her Twitter is also that. And then we got Michelle Walker. She is uh, Michonne, and she is a Walker. <laughs> she's um, dead. We have Aaron. We have Patrick at Poetry Slam. And we have Melissa, Melly the Kitten. So uh, explain Patreon in your best radio announcer voice. Patreon is a site where you can go on and sponsor your favorite uh, podcasts or other sort of people. (laughs) You give them money and you get rewards back. So this is Justin uh, letting you know about Patreon. So you should... (coughs) You should do it. Just do it. (laughs) 
God. Just do it. Just, I can smell the fucking the Red, Bull. Red Bull. Yeah. I need, I was so tired today. Okay. So this 13 year old kid. <laughs> okay. We're going to segue into children. Go sponsor us on Patreon. Patreon backslash OTCZ. We also, don't have links down below anymore because that would be super gross. Uh, check us out on Twitter and stuff too. Do it, please. OT Comfort Zone. OT Comfort Zone. Um, okay. So have you ever played Grand Theft Auto Five? No. Super fun game. I am not a gamer. Mm-hmm. I don't really play video games. Why would you ever? I, You know what? I enjoy them time to time. I cannot sit and play video games because I go fucking crazy. I'm yeah. like, I need to go outside. Um, Grand Theft Auto V came out. A bunch of people from uh, like that I went to like school with mm. were like, hey, we're getting GTA V. You should get it. And I was like, it sounds fun. Got it. I play it with them every once in a while. And it's the funnest fucking game in the world because it's so funny like i just cry laughing for two hours and then i stop playing um but anyways um so pretty much there is this kid that when gta came out i don't know why the story is just coming out now because it came out like a year ago but when it came out um it's all it's like an 18 plus rating right because mm. there's like nudity and swearing and like you shoot people and you can like hire prostitutes and all that cool. stuff do right? you see the sex yeah so it's like porn yeah jesus Okay. It's sweet. Um, <laughs> it's sweet. I jack off. It's That's pretty great. sweet. Yeah, I jack off every time I play. Especially in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Ever jacked off in the kitchen before? It's crazy. Every time. Man, the thrill. Every App- time I jack off. Apples are just kitchen. looking at you. <laughs> A fruit bowl. Um, okay, so this kid, uh-huh. he was 13, really wanted GTA Five. Why wouldn't he? His parents were like, you know, like conservative. So he was like, I'm not sure that they're going to let me get GTA Five and oh. let me play it. Yeah. So he's like... I know, before I even ask them, I'm going to convince them that I'm mature enough Mm -hmm. to get GTA 5. How did he do that? A PowerPoint. So what he did, (laughs) he created a PowerPoint illustrating why. Um, So his his title slide says, Grand Theft Auto 5, why I would like to play it and my compromise. And um, so pretty much he created this whole thing and he said his mission is to convince you to buy. And he sat his parents down. He's like, I need you to watch this PowerPoint with me. And I'm going to let you know what I want to do and why I want to do it. Mm-hmm. And so he created this entire, and he put statistics in. And he said, the problem why I can't play. He said, I am 13 years old. <laughs> you are supposed to be 18 years old to play. That is a five-year difference. Math. And then he did, like, stats about how many kids actually play it. And he was, and then he was like, this is, the, this is my solution because of all, like, the stuff in the game. Um, I will not play the campaign mode because the campaign mode, like, you have to go hire hookers. You have to go do this. You have to go do that. And I will avoid the clubs. Because <laughs> you can actually go into like strip clubs and stuff like that, right? He's uh, like, he's like, don't worry. I won't play the campaign and ever. I won't go in any clubs. Not ever. Not one time. Um, and he said, the campaign is just horrible with swearing and killing and sex and whatnot. But I don't want that part of it. And I play the online half where I can play with others, own cars, shoot guns, race, play fun maps, make my own maps, and more. <laughs> this, is, this is what I'll do. The safe-ish fun part. <laughs> And so he was just like, but don't worry, I'm not going to do all the stuff that you think I'm going to do. I'm not interested in hookers and sex. I just want to play this as a racing game. Of course. I just want to hang out with my friends in this online world. Why not? I want to meet people online but and have that aren't them hookers. take advantage of me. Yeah. Um, and he said his solution to the swearing, because like even when you're online, like you can be standing on a sidewalk in like uh, computer, like people computers, like the, like the characters, like the uh-huh. little people in the city. <laughs> um, they'll walk by you and just be like, hey fuck you and like they'll just start yelling at you he's like to combat the swearing and profanity um i'll just turn down my headphones solutions <laughs> i will play this on muted i will avoid all of the clubs and i won't play the campaign mode and um so it worked his parents got it for him oh good because they were like any kid that puts that much effort into putting a fucking powerpoint together to play a game uh yeah. his creativity is already good i respect said, that so much yeah I respect it. I mean, he has so many grammar mistakes in it, though, <laughs> which makes me, like, really uncomfortable. Like, it, I would have been, like, like, he wrote I, but he didn't capitalize it. Oh, no. I probably wouldn't have let him play it. No. Because he didn't capitalize I. I'd be like, I. in fact, you're grounded. Yeah. Yeah. You're grounded for not capitalizing I. Why would you do that? Idiot. You're 13. That's one of my, like, pet peeves is, like, when people, like, don't capitalize I or when people are, like, you and just write the letter U. Oh, your brother does it all the time. <laughs> I know. Oh, I hate I your brother know. sometimes. But, yeah, so that happened. You know what? 
I used to write PowerPoints. Like I, I did a PowerPoint for why you should let me have a lizard back before. Yeah, you actually, <laughs> so you were this me. kid. I was this kid. And I would put pictures in it to keep the audience interested. Oh, you have to. Uh-huh. And you have to do minimal, like just little points. You can't put a yeah. full paragraph because then nobody will want to read it. I was. It was literally like, you should give me a lizard because I'm lonely. Because it's easier to take care of than a dog. Because you promised me a dog when I was three, four, five, six, and I still don't have a fucking dog. So you should give me a fucking lizard. <laughs> and then the next, the next slide is just a picture of your face going, <laughs> give me a fucking lizard. <laughs> it was a video that I implanted. Yeah. Like, give me a lizard. I was like 12. Like, give me a lizard. Like, give me a lizard. <laughs> I'm awkward as hell. I need a lizard. I don't want to be friends. <laughs> I need to be that kid at school with a lizard. <laughs> yeah. I need something. I'm already weird enough. Just give me a lizard. Do you remember Jess? Yeah. He had a lizard. I'm glad he, I didn't get a lizard. <laughs> did he have a lizard? He had a lizard. I, I went a, over to his house once. He, he had, had a, a dog named Lady. I was over at his house all the time. We were friends in grade uh, like five to like seven. Is he like super strung out on like cocaine or heroin now or I something? I think so. Yeah. 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 That's good. Pretty that's sure. Great. Cool life choices. He cool. had a lizard. I think he had a lizard. I'm pretty sure he had a lizard. Yeah. I remember he had a dog named Lady. I remember that. And Black she, dog, right? She, no, huh. white. And it was like a big... <laughs> what? Uh, not white. <laughs> um, brown. Okay. You know those two colors? I get, yeah, I get brown and white yeah, mixed up often. I mean, so do I. Um, no, a brown dog. And yeah. Oh, pretty lady. sure it was a dude, though. Oh, lady. Oh, lady. Oh, little lady. Oh, my God, you guys. How long have we been podcasting for? I think probably too long. I think um, a long I just time. want to put out there, um, we are creating more videos to put up on our YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. So you're going to see us every week. You're going to see new videos. The videos that you're going to see are going to be awesome. And you also get to hear us talk still. Yeah, and these are going up on YouTube. So uh, yeah, shut YouTube. the fuck up with the complaining. YouTube, <laughs> Ashley's a little salty about this whole thing. YouTube, iTunes, and if you have an Android phone, yeah. which most people should, actually, yeah. if you have an iPhone, get rid of it, buy an Android, <laughs> then download the app Stitcher. Uh, it is free, and you can listen to our podcast on there for free wherever you are. Or alternatively, get the podcast app on your iPhone, and it is free there too. You don't have to pay for it. These are going on YouTube. You get video content every week, and that's extra. Also, it's on SoundCloud. Also, it's on SoundCloud. So everyone can shut the fuck up right now. And if you miss seeing us that bad, play this. Open an old video. Mute the old video. (laughs) Our mouths aren't lining up the same, but... um, Or you can just go watch the video that we just put up. Yeah. We yeah. just put up a video. Go check it we out did. on our YouTube channel. Um, did we? Yeah, we did. When? We just did. Oh, okay. Like, like by the time this comes out, we but just did. But we're not going to put it up on the same day, are we? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll put up. So this will be up on Wednesdays. Yeah. And our videos will be up on Fridays. Okay. I think that's a general That's a general consensus. I took a vote. Okay. It was just me. I think and I, then would, I, I voted vote for that too. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Because I took a vote by myself and decided that. I also, if anyone watched Till the End last time and saw the fucking end slate, and it was just like, check us out on Twitter. And also, Time Stop Productions. Time Stop Productions. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck a- you, Ashley doesn't Mitch. even get like a, <laughs> a fucking technician Mitch over here. Add my everybody. YouTube, asshole. <laughs> Mitch said that he's never going to allow anybody on the podcast to see him. He's going to be this mysterious figure. <laughs> he doesn't even exist. It's just us. <laughs> but he is, we're, we're always going to hear his voice in like every podcast. We're just going to be like, hey, Mitch. He's going to be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> but nobody's ever going to know what he looks like. Um, uh, I'll like snap a Snapchat of him one time. So make sure you add me on Snapchat, young. You know, and you he'll just leak it. And then it'll go like viral. <laughs> oh, God, technician Mitch. <laughs> it's Mitch. We know who he is. Okay. Okay. Do you um, want to end with a question? Yeah, let's end with a question. Okay. Do you have so. a question for me? So we, uh, you guys want to ask us questions, go to Twitter and just... Um, Hashtag OTCZ topic or um, just tweet at us a question yeah. or go to our Ask FM and uh, Ask FM us a question. Do all of those things. Or Snapchat us a question because that will happen. My, uh, my Snapchat is Creepy Turtle. Creepy Turtle. Creepy Ant Turtle. <laughs> okay, we have a couple of questions. What is your favorite kind of pizza and from where? My favorite kind of pizza. You know, I got a really good uh, tandoori chicken pizza from Pizza 73 and it was really good. But I think my favorite pizza is tandoori chicken. <laughs> it was really good. 
I love um, the Quattro Formaggi with no gorgonzola and extra smoked matzo. I have no idea what you just said. On gluten-free cheese like from Famoso. Spaghetti and Mario. <laughs> I love uh, Mario and Luigi. Mario and um, Luigi. The side. On uh, spaghetti with the ristorotti. Yeah. And uh, all these things I can't eat anymore. Miguelito and Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, I love some Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. I actually just sucked his dick like four seconds ago. No, you didn't. So, um, another question here is my ex boyfriend said I was really bad at blowjobs. It's embarrassing. What do I do? Uh, don't blow his job anymore. Don't do it. Don't blow him. Because, I mean, he's your ex boyfriend. He's probably just saying that to get back at you. Mm -hmm. All girls are good at blowjobs. You just have to put it in your mouth. Yeah. Did you not put it in your mouth? If you didn't, (laughs) you didn't. Then that might be the issue. (laughs) If it was in your mouth, that's good enough. Yeah, you're doing great. Um, how to deal with a fuckboy that you really like. Do you know what a fuckboy is? What is a fuckboy? A fuckboy is like one of those guys. Oh, Snapchat. I look Snapchat. I look like a middle-aged mom in that yeah. picture. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel to be 40? I don't know. What's a fuckboy? A fuckboy is... Um, I'll give you an example based off someone that we know. Like, um, do you remember... Yeah. He's a fuckboy. Oh, that's boy. a fuckboy. Okay, fuck yeah, boy. right. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Like, that was an audible at all. So you, you get a perm. <laughs> you get a perm. <laughs> and you're a fuckboy if you have a perm. Okay, you how to deal a with a that, perm. You like, leads girls on and then they, like, maybe just want sex or they're just, like, assholes or they, they like you, but then when you like them back, they're like, never mind, just kidding. And they have a perm. And they have a perm. A perm um, is necessary. How do you remain friends with a person who rejected you, but you've been friends with since elementary school? So your friends, they rejected you. You want to still be friends? Yeah, so pretend like me and you were friends since like preschool. Pretend. In grade seven, you had a huge crush on me. Pretend. You come up to me and you're like, hey, Justin, I love you. And I was like, fuck that. I literally never said that. And then, I told you, I told him like years after. I was like, I had a you, crush on you in seventh grade. How do you deal with the fact that I rejected you? Oh, God, it was heartbreaking. <laughs> no, I think you need to. I still think about it every day. <laughs> I cry myself to sleep sometimes. But the, the question here is, who's having the issue? Is it you having the hard time because you were rejected? I don't know why I'm pointing yeah. at the microphone. I'm is like, it is it you? Is it you? You microphone? Oh, Blue. <laughs> You're my boy, Blue. Or is it the other person who's, like, feeling awkward? You just... No, it's it's the girl that got rejected, but they've been friends for so long. Like, how do you, how do you, how do you keep that going? Okay. Well, I would just say, like, don't make it awkward. Because nothing is awkward if you don't make it awkward. Hi! 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 Um, we're Snapchatting while we're podcasting. Um, nothing, yeah. If you don't, just don't make it awkward. Just like be exactly. like, hey, you wanna go have a sex? Wanna go have a single sex just one time. Wanna just go get a coffee and then no maybe time. date me forever because I love you? Maybe have sex for like one time and then have my babies because I poke a hole in the condom. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Just super funny, not crazy at all. Okay, um,. Let's end this. We're gonna we, go. we gotta go film some videos to put up on YouTube so you guys can watch us. Still. Some videos. I have a midterm tomorrow, so I need to film these videos and get Justin to get the fuck out so I oh, can yeah. study. Oh, uh, yeah. Jamie's at a nice restaurant right now with her dad, and I was supposed to go, Where's but I had to going? come here. She's at 19. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. I know it's so good, and I wanted to go, but I had to come here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay, so let's end this. Okay, so hey, thanks guys for watching. Check us out on Twitter, OT Comfort Zone. Check us out on YouTube, Outside of the Comfort Zone. And make sure to please, if you're watching this on iTunes, give us a five star rating. Oh yeah, give us a rating. Like even if it's not five stars, just like review because no, we need our us, reviews. For to... sure, give us a five star rating though. Um, but just review us and on review iTunes us. because we need it to show up. We don't yeah. have enough reviews for it yeah. to show up yet. And we will shout out some people who write reviews next time. We will totally shout out yeah. you. If you write a review, we'll do it. Don't even we will, worry about it. We will answer your We'll like reviews. suck your dicks if you. Justin will text you naked nudies of himself if you review this podcast. I will. Do it on iTunes. Even if you don't have it, go buy an Apple computer, go to iTunes store, go to an Apple store, log on. You can literally download it. iTunes for free on a Windows. <laughs> then great, do like that. Make sure you do that. I don't have iTunes on my computer. Well, you should because you have a podcast on iTunes. <laughs> yeah, I go probably should. Review it. I should probably go review it. Okay. I did it five stars. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bye bye. Oh, bye bye now. Bye bye. Oh, you go bye bye now. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh, oh, bye I can't get into your computer to stop it. <laughs> oh, oh, bye bye now. Uh, five stars. Get your dick sucked. <laughs> uh, five stars now. You go bye bye now.